So I think we are, we have finished with the presentation of uh, our courses. I hope we convinced you that the problem is really interesting and there are many things you can learn. But then when you have taken all these courses, some of which you, you, you have chosen yourself, you have to prepare uh, for a training and internship in a lab to actually uh, walk toward your final exam. So you have to prepare your uh, internship and your tesi, lavoro di tesi. And for this, of course, you can um, be in one of our laboratories at our university in Verona, or you can uh, actually uh, uh, use uh, the fact that, as I mentioned initially, we have many of these stakeholders, parti interessati, that were very enthusiastic about this uh, this program and here I have a list of our stakeholders that I'm very uh, glad that uh, from the very beginning showed a high interest in our project and uh, some of them are present today here in the class some are connected via zoom so I would uh, uh, first of all thank all of them and would just applaud to all of them and then I will invite each of them uh, of course, those who are present to give us some information about what they do and how their activities can be actually so efficiently and nicely integrated into our teaching program. I think neither the Azienda Ospedaliera Integrata di Verona is here, unfortunately, but of course, this is a hospital, the, the coordination of the hospital system. So it is an extremely important stakeholder. You can understand why. So there isn't much more to tell about that. And we are really happy about their support actually. And um, Dr. Bravi was present in many of our uh, initial um, uh, meetings and uh, he pointed out the importance of this uh, master's degree program also for the integration of uh, our new grad uh, graduate students and graduate um, um, uh, biologists in the um, health uh, system, in the healthcare system here in Verona. And then Beckton Dickinson is also a very important medical company. I'm afraid that they are not present today. So I will then switch to Consiglio Nazionale delle Ricerche, in particular l'Istituto di Biofisica, uh, which has many uh, different, uh, um, it's spread over many cities in Italy, and we should have connected via Zoom Dr. Eloise Mastrangelo from Milan. I hope she's still there. Eloise. Yes, I am. Ciao, Daniel. Okay. Thank you very much. So I will uh, give the word to you and I think you want to share some slides. So I will give you the possibility to share your screen. Thank you very much. Hmm. Can you see the screening? Uh, yes, yes, we can. Okay. So hi everybody, I'm Luisa uh, Mastrangelo. I'm uh, responsible of the secondary uh, science uh, of uh, the Institute of Biophysics in Milano. There is also Mario Milani, uh, my colleague, uh, Mario Minali, online, I think, uh, which is the scientific group leader. Um, what is uh, the uh, Institute of Biophysics? The Institute of Biophysics is the uh, result of a fusion of five CNR organisms interested in the understanding of molecular mechanisms in uh, living systems. Uh, and is part of the Italian National Research Council. The headquarter is in Genoa, and um, sorry, I tried to echo is in Genoa, but there are also uh, four uh, secondary location in uh, Trento, uh, Milano, Pisa, and Palermo. Um, uh, we are very happy uh, to be part of this amazing uh, master degree thesis. And uh, uh, we uh, now I explain why. Because the activities in IBF, are mainly addressed 
in a fourth scientific area facing important uh, challenges in understanding biological system uh, with application in biomedicines, environments, and agri-food. And we have also a fifth area of interest, which is related to training and scientific dissemination. That's why we're here. So uh, concerning the biomedical sciences, uh, which is the area of interest for this master degree course, uh, we uh, main focus is in the dissection of the molecular basis of different human diseases, uh, such as cancer or genetic and neurodegenerative diseases, uh, viral and bacterial infections. And uh, we explore novel therapeutic strategies. Um, to this M, we integrate uh, several uh, advanced uh, techniques uh, such as uh, X-ray crystallography or small angle X-ray scattering, and more recently uh, the cryo electromicroscopy, together with uh, computational biology methods and uh, protein biochemistry and biophysics. So here you can see some example of our study in Milano, starting from uh, the disclosure of the uh, mutual interaction and cooperation of the main components of the uh, flaviviral replication complex. And uh, here you see our study in a, on a, a rare disease known as gelsolin amyloidosis, um, mutation in the uh, different hot spot of this uh, uh, protein activate different mechanism of the stabilization of the protein which cause the uh, deposition of uh, amyloid uh, fibrils and we are uh, thus studying characterizing the aggregation mechanism uh, in the gelsolin pathological variants here you see some uh, um, work that we are uh, doing in the cancer field, where we are deeply characterizing the inhibitor of apoptosis proteins, which is a family of conserved proteins involved in the apoptotic pathway, whose overexpression enhances survival resistance to uh, anti-cancer uh, agents. Um, so, as you can imagine, all the information gained. Uh, from these studies allows us uh, to uh, validate novel um, pharmaceutical target uh, that uh, um, are uh, thus selected for the ident identification of uh, lead molecules that uh, uh, might be then uh, optimized by structural based approaches uh, uh, to be ready uh, for further preclinical and clinical trials done in collaboration with other uh, institute or industrial partners. So what we do in our labs, uh, we perform form uh, some uh, uh, computational experiments in silico docking and molecular dynamics simulation. Uh, we express and purify protein in, uh, using different uh, uh, expression system in E. coli or baculovirus. Um, and once we get the protein expressed and purified, we perform activity or uh, in the drug discovery processes, uh, inhibition assays uh, with uh, automized processes that uh, take advantage of the use of state-of-the-art instrumentation uh, from medium to high throughput uh, analysis. Uh, we also uh, employ um, crystalliz um, robots for the crystallization trials that allow us to set up thousands of crystallization conditions per day. And we have monthly access uh, to uh, European synchrotron radiation facility for uh, uh, X-ray and uh, SACS data collection. And um, we also have access uh, to uh, cryo -M, um, in uh, our uh, department uh, that uh, is hosting the uh, CNR IBF in Milano. So, uh, which is the involvement of IBF in this master degree course? Uh, 
I think that uh, we can be um, involved in uh, several um, different teaching courses. Uh, I underline this one, but I think that we there is room for uh, other um, uh, other uh, our um, involvement in our other courses. So mainly in molecular and cellular uh, basis of diseases uh, for in the first year, but also bioinformatics uh, for uh, precision medi medicine and drug uh, and biological discovery. We might be involved in extra seminars. Here are some examples of structure, function, and inhibition of viral proteins. But uh, uh, most importantly, uh, we um, can host uh, students uh, in uh, our labs uh, for the master degree thesis uh, internship. And uh, which are what are the job opportunities for the graduate students that have been trained by us? Uh, many of them are interested in continue continuing their academic career. Uh, so uh, they take the, the way of the PhD, um, in particular in our PhD school, uh, school in Milano, uh, but uh, also at the Human Technopole or uh, industrial PhD in collaboration with uh, uh, pharmaceutical companies uh, or uh, at uh, hospitals uh, uh, like, like uh, that are collaborating with us, like, such as Mario Negri, Sarafele, Istituto Tutori. Some of them um, take also fellowship at CNR ABF that uh, are usually coupled with a PhD, with the possibility to become a CNR researcher. Uh, some of them have been recruited uh, directly to, from the hospitals or uh, research institutes uh, in uh, Lombardia. And uh, some of them prefer uh, to leave the academic career and to be recruited from companies. Uh, so this is uh, a part of our group. Uh, and if you have any question, you can also write me in the email that you see here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Uh, Mastangelo, uh, for this uh, interesting and clear presentation. Um, I will continue now, and uh, the next uh, uh, stakeholder we would like to present is Evotech, and we have here, now we have this, this to put on, uh, Dr. Paolo Cavani and Dr. Uh, Ma Mauro Corsi, oh, no, okay, then only Dr. Paolo Cavani will talk, and they will present something about Evotech. I will uh, set your presentation. Yeah. Uh, Thank you very much, Daniele, for the invitation and for the opportunity to be here to present Evotech. And uh, we, uh, I can introduce myself. I'm Paolo Cavanni. I've been working in the drug discovery field since more than 75 years. There's a lot. And uh, I started working for Glaxo, then Glaxo Welcome, GSK, Outwit, Evotech, but staying in the same place. So this is good actually and it has been an interesting experience so now uh, we are uh, a few hundred meters from here in the uh, Rita Levi Montalcini campus uh, that was a former Glaxo GS uh, GSK campus and um, it's a pleasure for me to present uh, uh, Evotech reality. Uh, you can go to the next. Uh, we are a, a CRO company, a contract research organization, but we are also a, a CDMO, so a contract development and manufacturing organization. Because in particular in Verona, we can cover this uh, uh, complex uh, uh, drug discovery uh, continuum uh, from target validation to the preparation of uh, uh, manufacturing of uh, uh, drugs for clinical studies. So, as you can see, as you can know, uh, as you know, uh, we uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, skills and uh, professionality uh, needed for to support the drug discovery uh, process. And in Verona, we have most of them. 
In particular, just to spend a few words on uh, Evotech to the next. Uh, Evotech is a, a multinational company. Uh, the headquarters is in Germany. We have uh, several research centers uh, in the world, in Europe, but also in US. Uh, overall, we are now 5,000 people. So it's a real important organization uh, over the world. And uh, uh, most of them have a PhD. Uh, and we work for uh, many companies from small biotech up to big pharma. And um, so more than 500 partners. Uh, we can go to the next. Uh, as you can see, we are uh, proud, uh, in particular in uh, Europe and also in the US. Uh, we have center for uh, also for manufacturing of biologics. We have a new concept of uh, production of biologics, the iPod, uh, which is uh, one in uh, US and one is uh, a building in France, in Lyon, uh, um, in Toulouse, actually, uh, with the support of the French government. So uh, this is a good opportunity also for manufacturing of biologics. Uh, in Verona, the, uh, the next please. Uh, yes, we are, of course, uh, it's important to support uh, the, uh, um, uh, the, the research in uh, medicine because there are a lot of uh, medical needs not uh, still uh, covered. And so our role as a CRO and as a CDMO uh, is to uh, help companies in uh, production and, uh, and generate new drugs. So uh, uh, recently, uh, Evotech acquired a, a new center in uh, Modena for the manufacturing of uh, cell therapies. It was the former Regenerant. Uh, and so this is a, is a good opportunity also to enter in this field of cell therapy. But in Italy, the core uh, activity is related to the drug discovery, the classical drug discovery based on uh, uh, compounds, on chemicals. And uh, the research center, uh, the campus Ritalevi Montalcini, is is uh, very close to here, a few hundred meters. And uh, it was the former uh, Glaxo GSK uh, center. Uh, and as I was saying, it can cover uh, most of the steps of the drug discovery from preclinical pre development, analytics, uh, generation of drug substance, uh, quality control and release, and of course, uh, also all the part of uh, primary research. Uh, in the next slide, we can see that we are almost uh, 1,000 people. Uh, now uh, we are 950, and uh, uh, most of them are uh, graduate uh, uh, researcher, and uh, we calculate that more than 20% are coming from Verona, from the University of Verona. So uh, is an important, uh, Evotech is an important reality here in the city, in Italy, because I guess that um, private uh, research center with almost 1000 people are not so common in Italy, unfortunately, to be honest. And uh, uh, of course, uh, in Verona, in Veneto and in Verona, this is an important attractor for the uh, uh, researcher and scientist uh, in, in uh, biological uh, science. Uh, we are really proud uh, because we have uh, um, not only a technical training uh, or um, mandatory training uh, for health and safety, for example, but we have also an important plan of continued education. We want uh, people working in, uh, in, uh, in Evotech to be updated, to know what's happened in the other department, because of course, uh, being a, a research and development uh, uh, is difficult to uh, understand 
to be informed of all the process, but we want to do this with several initiatives. So we made an internal master course in Evotech Verona with 96 lessons, with 80 teachers and more than 100 hours and 23 attenders that were selected to participate to this course. This is an internal course. And of course, we can also have an external scientific visibility. Uh, just in this uh, six, uh, early six months in uh, 2023, we have 19 uh, opportunities, uh, including a paper uh, presentation to Congress, uh, posters, but also uh, three invitation uh, in different uh, university for uh, lessons and uh, uh, seminars. Uh, in the next uh, is what we uh, can do for uh, the new uh, opportunity, the new uh, course in uh, Uni Verona. Of course, uh, we are, uh, most of, uh, of us have uh, tens of years of experience in the dark drug discovery process. So we can uh, uh, give support uh, to drug and biology discovery uh, with uh, pharmacodynamics, uh, mode of action, of course, screening, technical screening, uh, uh, assay development, uh, assay technologies, uh, pharmacokinetics, PKPD approach, uh, deriving from our internal experience. Uh, since we had, uh, uh, for uh, many decades, uh, as uh, for uh, GSK, as a center of excellence for drug discovery in uh, CNS diseases, we can also be involved in uh, neurophysiology and neuromodulation. Uh, for um, and uh, this is an important uh, opportunity, not only to have uh, seminars or uh, lessons or face-to-face -face lessons but in case also to uh, host uh, uh, students for uh, um, demonstration of uh, uh, um, in, in, uh, equipment for equipment or technology that we have available in, in, the, in our labs. And finally, also to host uh, graduating students uh, for thesis, uh, internship and uh, uh, stage in our labs as we did in the past for uh, many, many years. So this is the, uh, okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Paolo. Your clear and nice presentation. Um, we then continue with the next uh, um, stakeholder. Uh, which is um, actually uh, abroad, it's in Stockholm, and it's uh, the chemical proteomics unit of the Karolinska Institute, and uh, uh, Dr. Massimiliano Gaetani should be connected. Uh, maybe or maybe not. I think not. So then we will go further. I think uh, then we will switch to the next stakeholder, if Massimiliano is not here, which is Magis Lab. And uh, this is represented by uh, Dr. Paolo Maltese. Hi, Daniele. Uh, ciao, hi. I will, um, you, you can uh, share your screen. Okay, th thank you very much to the organizer and to especially to Daniele. Um, I will introduce um, our uh, um, laboratory. Um, it, it is now a group, but uh, MAGI um, was established, was founded as a private company uh, involved in uh, diagnosis of um, gene rare genetic diseases. And the first laboratory uh, is set in uh, Rovereto in uh, the Trentino province. But um, over the time, uh, Magi um, 
expanded its interests uh, beyond Mendelian genetic diseases and now operates uh, uh, from four different locations. Um, the uh, headquarter is uh, uh, near the Lake of Garda. Uh, we have a laboratory in uh, Albania and uh, another in uh, Bolzano. Um, um, we, we, um, the first interest of, the, of MAGI is, uh, of course, the di diagnosis. Uh, of um, rare genetic diseases, but uh, we uh, also offer um, support for developing countries, um, also offering uh, genetic tests at no cost uh, for developing countries, but also we, um, thanks to, to some projects, we open at some care centers, for example, in India or Africa. Um, our interest is also in the education and information in um, the medical genetic fields that is um, uh, open to um, um, uh, medical doctors and some in, 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 not, not only for the MAGI staff, but also for uh, doctors that are interested to uh, improve their knowledge in, uh, in, in genetics. And also, um, we are interested in the research and, and development because uh, not always um, we can offer a genetic diagnosis with uh, uh, diagnostic approaches. So uh, we need to move also with uh, uh, some uh, collaboration with universities such as uh, University of Verona to improve uh, the knowledge of uh, a, the disease that we uh, can face off in our um, uh, diagnostic routine. Um, the, the mission of MAGI is, uh, the, the first mission is to uh, increase the number of uh, genetically diagnosable disease in Italy because uh, these uh, diseases are rare, but uh, are in a huge number. So take, taken together, patients with genetic disease are not so few, but um, uh, the management of these patients uh, often um, and, and needs a diagnosis to be uh, to, to a good take care to assistance to our rehabilitation. So uh, the, the diagnosis uh, is um, fundamental for, uh, for the manage ma management of patients. And also um, we, we, we uh, consider it that uh, uh, now uh, gene therapy uh, will be um, uh, um, uh, um, every day um, more important. Uh, so uh, we are, we are uh, now, now uh, facing of um, some um, a sort of revolution for these diseases that um, uh, just a few years ago uh, to be, um, to, to have a genetic disease uh, have, have no, um, um, no, there are no therapies available, but this uh, will, will be in the future. Uh, we hope that uh, this will be different. Uh, so uh, the mm, the uh, our interest is also to um, uh, improve the genetic knowledge at all levels. So also education and information for us is very important also for uh, medical doctors that not always are uh, um, uh, have a good knowledge of some rare disease. And uh, it, it is very important for patients. Um, so uh, all uh, these goals are uh, possible, are made possible by the highly specialized uh, staff at Meiji. Uh, so, uh, and also their continuous support to, to stay updated. Uh, so uh, the team includes also undergraduate students, students, specialized trainings uh, and uh, PhD candidates. So they, uh, our, our collaborators have also the possibilities to, the possibility to improve their knowledge uh, through um, university studies. 
Um, as I said before, uh, education and information uh, by margin is um, 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 uh, is, is done also by uh, the organization of, of, uh, of meetings uh, that um, are, um, um, uh, are offered not also for my staff, but for are open to uh, to um, all are involved in, uh, in, in in this field or are interested to uh, improve their knowledge in medical genetics and are often um, un, um, offered uh, such uh, as um, um, in programs with, with HCM credits, so in uh, Educazione Continua in Medicina that are um, give credits for the uh, up, up, uh, for, for the uh, updating the the knowledge for uh, uh, who work in the healthcare system in the uh, national uh, health systems. Um, the, um, the the laboratory magic laboratory is not involved in the ge classic genetics, uh, so we uh, we cannot perform the uh, karyotypes uh, and so on. But it is uh, involved in uh, uh, molecular genetics. So the uh, techniques that are used are uh, based uh, uh, on sequencing, on DNA sequencing. And um, the, uh, we used uh, uh, the classic Sanger sequencing uh, and uh, the next generation sequencing, and also the multiplex negation dependent probe amplification MLPA for the uh, uh, copy number variants that cannot be uh, so, uh, solved by, uh, by normal sequencing. Um, all all uh, these, um, the, the, um, the, the diagnostic requests come from uh, uh, hospitals across uh, Italy and uh, covering uh, a range of different uh, diseases. Um, the, and, and, uh, okay, and, and um, sorry. Uh, and as I said before, also um, the research activities are um, an important aspect of um, uh, for, for, for MAGI because uh, some of um, uh, our findings cannot uh, explain uh, clearly uh, the, 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 the a disease, a disease. Uh, so can uh, the results can can be uh, um, uh, definitive so we we need to uh, to approach uh, our uh, results with the uh, uh, with in vitro or a in vivo experiments that this can be done with the collaborations with the uh, uh, research institutes and uh, universities uh, such um, um, the University of Verona uh, with um, the, the, these are some uh, publication that perform together in uh, especially in ophthalmic diseases uh, so um, the, this is uh, this uh, explain our interest in uh, in uh, research activities. These are our publication uh, updated at, uh, January uh, of this year. And um, uh, what what we can do for this uh, program, uh, um, we we can offer uh, obviously internship and also uh, seminars in medical genetics. And um, uh, students that can uh, decide to, uh, to have an internship to our laboratory uh, can, um, uh, can then um, uh, partnering studies in a PhD programs or specialized uh, school in medical genetics, or can be uh, have, have, can have the possibility of being employed in uh, public or uh, private laboratories. Um, okay, that's all. Um, I, I hope all the best for this uh, very interesting uh, uh, master degree uh, that I think is uh, uh, very uh, innovative, and um, uh, I, I hope it, it can be uh, attractive for the new generation students. 
thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, uh, Paolo. I think uh, then we um, we have um, our last uh, but not least stakeholder, Milteni Biotech, uh, represented by Dr. Giulio Bassi. Presentation. Good afternoon, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes. So I can start introducing myself. Um, I'm Giulio Bassi. I'm the National Sales Manager for Milton Biotech Italy. I'm quite excited because last time I was on in this seat, I was discussing my PhD end of second year. So quite strange. I had a PhD here at the University of Verona, and then I moved to uh, different companies and now working at Milton e Biotech. I just want to give you a short introduction of the company. Okay, wrong direction. So Milton e Biotech has been founded in 1989. Uh, now we are more than 4,000 employees, and something I would like to highlight is the number of people, of employees working in the research and development uh, department. The number is more than 25% of the total employees, and this is a very high number if we are thinking about a small medium enterprise. We are present worldwide with 26 uh, subsidiaries, and the headquarter is in Germany. Uh, in Bergisch Gladbach, that is just outside Cologne, uh, where we have the production, uh, and in Tederov, where we have the production of clinical uh, reagents. Um, I reported this slide because this is the first discovery of our owner, that is actually the owner of the company, Stefan Milteni. During his PhD, he discovered that uh, um, by uh, incubating cells with antibodies conjugated with nanoparticles, it was possible to load these cells on a, a column and inside a magnetic field, it was possible to retain target cells and elute unwanted cells. And thanks to the discovery, Milton e Biotech was founded and now also uh, many patients has been treated with stem cells obtained with this uh, technology. Why a uh, washing machine? Because after the, this discovery, uh, Stefan Milteni produced the, the column that is the heart of the technology by using this washing machine and uh, creating the column inside the, uh, the, uh, this disposable. So in terms of application, after uh, developing the cell isolation method, uh, Stefan Milteni developed uh, upstream and downstream uh, technologies like sample preparation to cell analysis and imaging, both for the benchtop and for the bedside, so for clinical uh, treatments. And in terms of topics, uh, we are working in the immunology field, cancer research, stem cell research, cardiovascular and neuroscience. Um, and uh, speaking about clinical, uh, we work in the immunotherapy field, regenerative medicine and graft engineering by supporting uh, clinicians in developing advanced therapy that has been uh, discussed uh, earlier like uh, with the modi genetic modification of cells, generating chimeric antigen receptor cells for um, leukemia treatment, as well as uh, uh, by gene editing, like with the CRISPR-Cas9 uh, technologies. Um, we will contribute to this uh, uh, course uh, by face-to-face -face, uh, uh, coalescence, uh, the possibility of an inter internship, both uh, at the Italian level, but also in uh, Europe, or uh, in our uh, headquarters in Germany. And uh, thank you for inviting us. Thank you. Okay, I think uh, we are almost at the end. We are running a bit late actually, but um, I would like once again to thank all the stakeholders that gave very, uh, I think interesting uh, presentations that tells you 
what you can do also uh, not only here at university but by joining uh, these very exciting environments that all our stakeholders will provide and we'd like to thank them for this and uh, then just the very last slide before questions. So if you have any information that has to do with the content of our teaching content, but only that, please write to me. If you have any other general information like how to matriculate or orientation or this kind of things, here are the email address. So do not write to me for these things, but to the appropriate offices. This information will be available at the website too. So don't worry if you... Don't write it down. And before thanking you for this um, um, presentation, I would